Hey you guys, it's Shandera. What is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. So in today's video, I tried sea moss on my skin, face, and neck for eight days and I have this to say Dr. Sabi's research on sea moss is just out of this world so here is my skin before we apply the sea moss gel I have a red mark right here that I can't get rid of here are my dark circles, black marks all over my face. Some people are probably like, your skin looks really clear. I've been having a lot of issues with acne lately, especially at night. I have an acne scar right here that I've been trying to get rid of and an acne scar right here. And another one forming right here. My skin is really not in the best shape. So I'm expecting to see some amazing results with the sea moss so today is like a first impressions video um so let's do this so i just cleansed my face you guys know i love to cleanse before i mask and then after i mask i go on with the rest of my routine so now we are going to use the sea moss a gel and get this started i'm really excited this bowl like so Ooh, that's too much oh well <laughs> Okay, you guys, so the sea moss gel has dried. This is what it looks like, and I just want to say this. So this is how I'm kind of feeling. I don't even know where to begin, but I'm going to keep all my thoughts because this is the first day. Like, look at this, you guys. I feel like it's revealing, like, my new skin, and it's getting rid of that dark scarring face I had like I'm about to have new skin I'm I'm ready I am ready <laughs> okay so today is day three of the sea moss a gel face mask skincare challenge <laughs> and I was going to look up the benefits for you guys because I forgot to tell you but as I was searching for articles I came up on this website uh birdie and the way the article reads, and it's a lot of articles online, but this one was really interesting because it was written by a, a person and then the dermatologist reviewed the article. So I thought it was really interesting how they sort of made it like it was a trend that came up on Pinterest totally discrediting Dr. Sabi's work on Irish sea moss. And you know my tin foil hat started tingling conspiracies. Like how could they not even mention him in the article? And then they almost made it seem like in order to get the best uh, Irish sea moss or sea moss in general, you literally have to source it from skincare products instead of buying it yourself, which is really interesting because if you look all over YouTube, Dr. Sabi literally has videos telling you what type of sea moss to look for. There are other people who tell you what type of sea moss to look for. I don't understand how Birdie could just say this is like a fat on Pinterest. I am just so shocked with that article like Birdie, what is going on? So let's talk about some of the skincare products I started off with before I put the mask on. Um, I just started off with the Earth to Skins Honey Manuka Cleanser. This is a calming, soothing, moisturizing cleanser. Um, this is a cheap green beauty product, clean as well, that you can find at Walmart. Like they only sell at Walmart. It's very, very cheap, really great brand. Um, I already cleansed my face with this and then I applied my 
my sea moss and my natural salad burrow with my natural bristles and my skin hasn't been irritated at all so I'm really happy about that um, I don't know why the glass bowl irritated me it may have been the rubber spatula I'll probably test it tomorrow just to make sure it was just the rubber spatula and not the glass bowl my spatula and bowl was clean but sometimes actual skincare can be really fickle with how it reacts to certain metals and rubbers and plastics and things like that y'all know what I'm talking about so the mask is almost dry as you guys can see so I am going to go ahead and rinse my face and then I guess we'll do the routine the skincare routine together and I just can't fight it you know all the ways I like it my north you must have you my east you my west when you see me me and my worst try to make me feel my best this love we just can't deny it you know all the ways i like it you holding me tangled up in these sheets holding you holding me easy love wednesday night just hanging out us two just got home and you turn on some blues then tell me you're hungry i go order chani wednesday night it's easy love with you okay 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 i'm your sunshine mixed with a little hurricane white hot angel with the daredevil's brain this feeling i just can't find you know okay you guys so i finished the skincare routine and as you see seen i use nothing but organic natural vegan skincare products with the sea moss gel and i have to tell you my face is not irritated it's not itchy when i first started this and for the first three days i was using none organic clean beauty natural products my face was very itchy irritated i started scratching a lot um today i'm happy my face is not irritated i'm not scratching so i finally have the routine and i'm sticking with it i'll probably add two more things and i'll let you guys know what i add um and i have to say this my face is very moisturized it's hydrated my skin is really tight it's almost like i had like laser resurfacing um you know that surgery you get for like tight uh to tighten sagging skin that's literally how this mask feels it literally tightens your skin it makes it plump it makes it juicy as well as hydrated like almost like Botox and laser resurfacing to tiny sagging skin like my skin feels really good and I have a glow that I didn't have for the past three days and y'all saw my face so I am really excited and my skin just feels really hydrated i'm happy i found the right products so like i said i'm going to continue to reiterate this if you are going to try sea moss or you've tried it it's irritated your skin you may want to try to get some natural organic clean green beauty products they do have drugstore versions like i mentioned earth to skin is one and there's another company at um a Walmart that sells clean green beauty products. I've reviewed them on the channel, but I just can't think of them off the top of my head. If I remember, I'm going to come back and let you guys know. I promise. <laughs> I've been experimenting a lot with skincare, especially a lot of natural and organic skincare, because most of the time I really can't take that skincare, especially when I'm using like CeraVe, um, conventional skincare. So now I've been experimenting and um, you know, my texture is really getting out of control. So, <laughs> so we're gonna start off with Swanshin's Gartens. I'm a poly, this is an antioxidant. Pretty lightweight, it's not heavy at all. Um, it really calms my texture down when my skin is looking jacked up. Now we're gonna go in with Foliant uh, Eye Cream. This is a green, clean beauty skincare line as well. Um, I would say they're about mid-range price. 
um they're not expensive you can find them at ulta i'm kind of gonna leave links down below to some of the green clean beauty skincare i've been using i think it's really important to use like natural skincare when you're using the irish sea moss mask it is no joke there's so many out there that are very affordable you guys so don't worry about it if you are going to use this mask and if you want hydrated skin really great clear skin i mean i I do have a lot a little bit of texture but as you can see it's kind of subsiding and no one's skin is perfect 24 7 you guys so don't expect me to be sitting here with clear skin all the time um i am going to go in with a foliant moisturizer this like i said foliant is a clean green beauty line this is how much i'm using yes i'm not using as much as i normally do because ever since i've been using the cmos gel as a face mask i have noticed that i don't need as much product as i normally used to use on my skin to keep my skin hydrated it is so Something about that sea moss gel that does wonders you guys and I don't know what it is like look at my face oh my god let me wipe this lotion in cuz I'm just talking and the lotion is just not even massaged into my skin <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I just put the Inky List Rose Hip Oil on, and I'm gonna use the lip balm because my lips have been looking a little crusty. As you can see, my texture is slowly subsiding. Um, what do you guys think? I'm just in love with the sea moss gel. Oh my gosh. So here are my final thoughts on using sea moss on my skin for eight days. I think honestly, I am going to keep this in my skincare routine for a while now. It's really inexpensive to do and it really had amazing results on my skin. I noticed my skin was clearer. I actually noticed that my skin had a really brighter tone to it as opposed to using stuff like glycolic acid, lactic acid, salicylic acid. I kind of felt like the CMOS face mask did that for me um, at a much better rate and it was much gentler to learn on the skin. I do want to say this. If you are a person who uses a lot of conventional skincare, you may notice some irritation when you go to using natural skincare. It just may irritate your skin. Um, so you do want to be careful. You may want to like spot treat with the mask or apply it in certain areas of your face, almost as if you're contouring with a face mask, as opposed to just going straight out with a mask and putting it in all over your face because it can cause some irritation. I also noticed when using any type of glycolic acid, salicylic acids um, that I mentioned, not hyaluronic acid, that I got a lot of irritation. Applying sea moss to my face for eight days was an amazing experience. It really helped reduce the texture of the skin I have. Normally I get a lot of texture throughout the day, but including this in my routine helped with texture. It helped my skin look a little more plumper. The results I experienced with the sea moss were amazing and it's really a wonderful alternative to like turmeric face mask. So I can only imagine if you like add a little bit of turmeric powder to this face mask. I mean the results will probably be like just out of this world. Dr. Sabi, I am so happy he brought this to our attention and in our life because sea moss is amazing that being said you guys i want to thank you so much for watching this video let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below have you tried it what are your thoughts on it let me know i want to thank you guys again make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites i love you guys so much and i'll see you in our next video bye you guys Mwah.